abandoned by the health system. Alone in our house, in the region of Belchasse, Quebec, a lady lives with about 20 cats in filth, while the healthcare system is incapable to offer her appropriate care. A strong odor of urine and of feces will tickle your nose as you enter the cat lady's house. Recently, a dozen of dead cats were buried near her house by her family. The animals were thin and in agony. One of them had urine in her blood. The 84-year-old will blow her nose with her underwear Her cats are dying and she does not know why, says the lady. This elder lady's health care is threatened. Cluttered with debris and dirty clothes, the bathroom is in a deplorable condition. Two other rooms in the house are condemned by an amount of clutter, a sign of a mental illness. A neighbor said that she goes out at night and she picks up all kinds of things. In the kitchen, the cats are jumping on the counters that are dilapidated. In the cat lady's bedroom, she put newspaper and flyers on her bed to absorb the urine and the feces. Must we understand that the poor old lady sleeps in animal excrements? Every window of the house is camouflaged. The exterior has been upheld by a minimum. And the uh, cat lady has no phone. While talking with the people of the municipality, the reporter learns that the cat lady has a dozen of kids still, in, still living, which one of the daughters would live in Florida. The cat lady is refusing to leave her residence and to get rid of her animals. Some concerned citizens have given her heating wood, but many are worried about a fire. There are limits to what a municipality can do. People like her, there are tons of, and more than what you think. And this number risks to increase, mentions the Directrice Générale d'Armag, Sylvie Vachon. The bylaw allows a maximum of three cats, but a ticket would be useless. It is difficult to force a person to leave their residence. Normally, it's up to the CLSC workers to do this. It's their job. However, their case files are overwhelming. As a last recourse, when you must protect someone, a placement is inevitable. The Ministre de l'Agriculture, des Pêcheries et de l'Alimentation du Québec, MAPAC, who is in charge of animal welfare, has replied that this was a health problem. For its part, the employees of the CLSC of St. Lazard, that are affiliated at the CSSS of Alphonse Desjardins, have been alerted but they were unable to comment as the case is confidential. Here we go with another case of animal neglect that the authorities are passing the puck. The uh, city claims they can't do anything. All they could do is ticket. Municipal bylaws are useless. It's only a tax. CLSC? Confidential. But from past experiences, they have the power to act and help the lady. They don't have the power to help the animals. So, nobody's helping the elderly, nobody's helping the animals. That is how the Quebec justice system works. In the town of Franklin, two years ago, we saw this exact same situation with a cat rescuer. 
Sylvie Janvres. What did the authorities do? They issued tickets knowing they would never get paid. But in reality, they just wanted Sylvie Javres to skip town and move the problem to another municipality. That way, Franklin wouldn't have to deal with this anymore. Now, the director general at the town of Franklin had contacted the CLSC. What did the CLSC do? Nothing. They're underfunded. They do not have the ability to take in somebody who refuses the help. 